Hey, I'm Cher. Welcome to Readings. If you like the way I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Hey, welcome new subscribers. Nice to have you here. Pisces, your daily reading. Let's go to the Gypsy Witch fortune telling cards. Yes, indeed. The Gypsy Witch. Ooh, I can feel the energy pouring through them. Oh. Thank you guys for your likes, your shares, your comments. Appreciate it very, very much. While you're at it, reach down and hit that like button for sure. Hit that thumbs up or that thumbs down, whatever you prefer. Ice is your daily reading. Come on. Let's get her on. Let's get her done. Come on, Pisces. Got your back, darling. Let's go. The gypsy witch got to say. You're waiting for somebody. Standing and waiting and waiting and waiting. Oh, my God. God love you, darling. You've been standing at the dock waiting for this person for quite some time. And you're trying to heal from some sort of a nightmare that you're going through. We got the nightmare card here with the nine of swords. Trying to heal. Trying to heal from the nightmare. Nightmare. <laughs> Think of it. Think of that. Trying to heal from the nightmare. Waiting for them. Waiting for them. <laughs> what kind of a nightmare is it? Are you trying to heal from the restless nights? The wanting? The thinking? Are they coming back? Are they with somebody? Oh my God. And the breathing is going and... And, and I can't breathe and laying in my bed all tucked up in one corner when I got the whole bed to myself, but I can't enjoy the whole bed. I'm too busy not breathing and stuck in a corner. Taking up a little corner of the bed. Smooth talker, sexy walker, but they left. They went for some calmer water, Pisces. They went for calmer waters. What happened there? There might have been a lot of emotion that was going on here in this relationship and this connection a lot of emotion here and someone made a decision I know there was a lot of passion too but this is also there was a lot of emotion here King Neptune himself coming out here the king of love could have been involved with another Pisces Or it could be you, Pisces. Did you make a decision? Did you think that maybe someone was a bit of a player? Someone was running around? Maybe had eyes on others? Or did your person get all emotional? Or see you get all emotional? And make a decision that they were going to go elsewhere? Let's see if we can find out. As the tarot turns. As the tarot turns. All right, Pisces. Yeah, it's a soulmate connection. Yes. But it's a soulmate that I like to call the Brethren card. What kind of soulmate is a Brethren? Very good friend. Is it somebody to have a destiny with? Is it somebody that has history with you? Is it somebody that just loves the way that you make them feel? Somebody who can come to you and, and cheers and high five and cheers. Brethren. Lovers, but different. Someone expected a lot more. Someone wanted some real good equal give and take here. And I got the nine of cups, which is wish fulfilled. It was good. It was good. But something happened. But it was good. 
it was very close kinship. Very close kinship. But there's someone else. There's someone else here, somebody with money. I like to call her the queen of money. She was working on some sort of a plan here. She had some kind of a plan. Could have been an ex. If not an ex, this is a nosy Nosenstein. Somebody sticking their freaking nose where it didn't belong. Family member. Mother? Father? Family member. Brother, sister, even a very dear friend. But somebody, money. <laughs> you know, I do have a very, very strong brethren here. Very strong. The king and the queen of swords, both. Now, you know, I know, I know, I know, I know, because I'm a Pisces. I know Pisces is a fish that swims with a sword. A fish of great emotion. A fish that swims with a, with a box of Kleenex in one hand and a freaking sword in the other. Okay, you can either make me cry or I'm going to slice and dice. One or the other. That's Pisces. When I got these two cards here, I really think that it ended with both of you trying to get the last stand. I'm going to get the last word. No, I'm going to get the last word. I'm drawing the sword. Well, I can draw a sword too. Well, I'm going to cry now. Well, I can cry too. We'll cry together. Very strong brethren here. Great kinship soulmate but a different kind but I think that one wanted to change this different kind into something bigger something better but it's it's not meant to be it's two people very very much like each other two people very strong emotions Two people of strength, of valor. Two people of power. Can't let it go. Now grieving. Looking at what used to be. Not seeing the potential that's sitting right behind you with the two full cups. Uh, I don't want the two full cups. I don't want the potential. I don't, I don't want the possibilities. Uh, I want the past. I can't let go of it. I want the past. Waiting. Waiting for the past. Nightmare. Trying to heal. Let's keep going. Two strong people here. Yeah, it ended very, very... Wow, very, ended very strong. Very strong, powerful ending here. But the thing about this ending is with this walking away and with the heartbreak, Pisces, uh, Pisces, I, I think you knew ahead of time that it was going to end. I think you knew. I, I think you felt it. I, I think... Two of you probably butted heads before, and you thought, you know, if we keep butting heads, if we keep disagreeing, it's going to end. There's also someone else involved here. It could be an ex, or it could just be a nosy Nosenstein. But there's someone else involved here. Someone who might have come between the two of you, or somebody taking one to the side. And talking to them, ah, spirit, I'm in. Could have been a mutual friend, someone taking 
them to one side and, and saying things and then taking you to one side and saying things. Freaking nosy Nosenstein. Somebody wanting to break you up. It's a lot of heartbreak here, though. <laughs> the ability for someone to make a decision is outrageous. Oh, freaking rageous here. Can't make a decision. Someone just can't make a decision. They know where their happiness lies. This is, uh, I, I want to be recognized by you. Uh, we had good times together. We have a little bit of history here. We have good times. We, you know, we celebrated, we laughed. And then there's refusing the cup, but yet stand at the crossroads here. Refusing the cup, but hoping for an offer. There are people here. There are manifestors. There is possibly, I hate to say it, but there might be some sort of witchcraft or spell work or something here. But I do see that there are people, an older and a younger. Older person and a younger person. And the younger person has something to do with the marriage card. The younger person, spirit, bring it in. The younger person has something to do in the marriage. Was your person already married? Were you married? Is there a child here that might it's really hard to it's hard to fathom this but it does happen is there a child here that might want you and your husband separated do they have a child that want you and this person separated there's somebody here that's trying to break this togetherness and it's a younger person There's great possibility of some word coming into you, Pisces. But who's bringing this word? And why do they want to end it? Why are they bringing you word? It's over. It's done. You're through. You're done. Who is this? Who, who is this younger person? Do they have a child? Do they have like a teenage child or... A, a child in their early 20s? Or do you? But there's someone here. With the great possibility of bringing word that it's done. This is somebody who doesn't want this connection to happen. Holy crap. <laughs> wow, it's wow. Okay, Pisces. <laughs> wow. Very unstable. Very unstable here. And I'm not gonna say it's you and them that's unstable. Maybe you are. But it's through a third party. It's through someone else who's trying to stop this from happening. But they're having a hard time. They're very, they can deceive very easily, but they're having a hard time. Why are they having a hard time? Because there's like 10 of cups and a very, very strong soulmate connection here. So, I have a brethren, a brethren soulmate, that has possibly worked its way from being very, very, very good friends, dear friends, loving friends, to a possible very, very strong soulmate since all this crap has happened. And I think you both feel it, Pisces. I think you feel this very, very strong connection and you want it with the Ten of Cups, this joy. And I feel your person really, really wants this connection and they feel a very strong soulmate connection. 
and joy. So what stops it? It started off as good friends, brethren, good friends, and is now really rooted in to a, a very strong soulmate. But there's deception. What's this deception? What is this deception? Is it you? Are you being deceptive? No. Is it your person? Are they being deceptive? Nope. So what is it? What is this deception, spirit? Thank you, spirit. It is someone who spies. Outside looking in at this connection, strong. Someone spying. Ooh. A child? A young adult? Possibly a nosy Nosenstein of some sort. Somebody here does not want this to work. They want it done. There's a great possibility that they speak words of, it's done, it's over. Oh, I guess you guys are not going to get back together again. Inside, inside, they are jumping, jumping for joy. Why? They want to be recognized. Person feeling left out or person that, British, used to getting their own way. Nobody's been recognizing me. And I'm suffering great heartbreak. A couple more carrot spices. Walls are up. This person has really done their job. They've really done their job. This is someone that cries crocodile tears. This is someone who gives a sob story when there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. Trying to get a, a glory hog. Glory hog. I've got to have the glory. When I walk in the room, the two of you all cuddled up on the couch together watching the movie. You make me feel... Third wheel out. Does that ring a bell, Pisces? Who is this young energy? With their walls up. And that fights the truth. And the truth is that the two of you love each other. You and your person. Your person and you. But they fight the truth. For their own glory. That's one hell of a reading, Pisces. What signs have we got here? Pisces. Gemini. Well, there's not many signs. Taurus. Aquarius. All signs on the board. Those are the signs that are prominent. Pisces is one hell of a daily reading. You got a nosy Nosenstein until you deal with that nosy Nosenstein. Uh, the two of you, I don't think, will ever be happy together because of them. It's either daddy's little girl, mummy's little boy, but it's definitely somebody who's looking for the glory. Somebody doesn't want the two of you together because they feel left out. Very childish energy. Maybe it could even be mom. Maybe you're even your own mother. Since you've been with them, you have no time for me. Swing it around, Pisces. It could be any situation. But it's definitely a person. It is definitely a person who doesn't want the two of you together. Because they feel left out.
Namaste.